Ever wonder how test sieves are manufactured? Well, you've come to the right place. We'll show you the step-by-step -step process of test sieve construction, so stick around. Hi, I'm Candace Blaker, and I'm the product manager for particle size analysis here at WS Tyler. We created one of the first test sieve standards over 100 years ago, and over the years, our team of experts has developed the know-how needed to ensure you implement the right test sieve configuration for your particle size analysis process. So, how are test sieves made? In this video, we'll go over the different components of a test sieve, the differences between brass and stainless steel sieves, we'll provide an in-depth look at the test sieve assembly process, and how test sieves are shipped safely. Test sieves consist of three main components, a frame, a skirt, and the screening media. The frame is used to provide space between test sieves when stacked, which allows the material being tested to move freely. Typically, test sieves come in a standard size of three inches, 8 inches or 12 inches in the U.S. and 100 millimeters, 200 millimeters, or 300 millimeters internationally. The skirt provides support to stack test sieves, preventing the stack from toppling over when conducting a test sieve analysis. The screening medium, like woven wire mesh, is the most critical part of any test sieve. It's used to separate the larger particles from the smaller ones giving you an accurate reading of the material being worked with. Generally, stainless steel wires are used to construct the mesh and have a mesh opening size range of four inches all the way down to a 635 mesh. It should be noted, the test sieve cloth is woven slightly different than other woven wire mesh. When weaving test sieve mesh, the loom is monitored far more strictly in efforts to make sure that the mesh openings are precise and fall within the tolerances set by ASTM or ISO standards. Once removed from the loom, the mesh must be visually and physically inspected for any sort of flaws or imperfections before being classified as test sieve cloth. WS Tyler manufactures test sieves in three standard configurations for 8 inch and 12 inch diameters. Brass frame with brass mesh, brass frame with stainless steel mesh, and all stainless steel constructions. All other diameters are offered in the all stainless steel or brass frame with stainless mesh configuration. Brass mesh is much softer than stainless steel and it used to be significantly less expensive. However, in today's market, stainless steel is much more widely used than brass. It's three times as strong as brass, and it can be used to test abrasive materials in harsh conditions. A test sieve is, in its simplest definition, wire sieve cloth mounted on a rigid frame. The mesh is affixed to the frame and tensioned to ensure that it meets the ASTM or ISO standard. A bead of epoxy is placed in the groove where the mesh meets the frame to prevent any particles from getting trapped and skewing your particle analysis results. The test sieves are polished and put into inventory. Serial numbers are permanently etched onto the sieve frame and a certificate of compliance is printed at the time of shipment. As test sieve analysis requires precise equipment, any dents or imperfections that are the result of rough shipping conditions are a natural concern. In order to prevent these occurrences, extra steps are taken to ensure that your sieves arrive in pristine condition. Prior to being placed in the main box that will be handed over to the shipper, each test sieve is placed into its own individual box. In these individual boxes is the sieve certificate of compliance, as well as the test sieve itself. These are all placed into a plastic bag to further protect them from harmful elements, such as moisture, that may occur during shipment. Most components used to construct our test sieves are produced in-house, so the process can be controlled all the way through. As a result, we can typically have your test sieve order shipped within five business days if the raw material is available. With that, all the components are pre-made and stored, so that when your order comes in, all the components needed to construct your desired specification can just be pulled from the shelves. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Candace Blaker and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.